Hey guys, welcome back to Legend Denny. Today I'll be heading out with uh, Arian, who just arrived in Singapore from the UK, and we're gonna see what's good today. So now we're on our way to get some nice breakfast. It's another weekend, and I think that it's time to show you more of Singapore's great food variety. Guys. So we are at our first stop. We are eating prawn noodles at River South Ho Nam. This is in the Potong Pasir area, and it's just two, three minutes away from the MRT. This shop is pretty popular. and opens super early at 7 a.m. in the morning every single day. It's only 8.30 a.m. now, and look at the amount of already peeled off prawn shells. This is the prawn and pork ribs noodle dish with beautiful fresh prawns, tender fatty pork ribs, and some fried shells, and of course, some delicious yellow noodles. So let's try. So you were saying that the broth is not really a seafood taste, but more um, meat, meaty, yeah? Either that or I haven't woken up yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> what I would try first is the broth. Yeah, it's like slightly sweet. You're right. Okay, it does have some a there, a bit there, but some seafood yeah. taste, but also a lot of um, flavor from the, the pork. Yeah. But it's nice, soothing. Now I try the noodles. It's difficult, you run out of words to describe food. I mean, it's tasty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the yellow noodles, I would say, are springy. Um, Al dente, yeah, just got, nice just and got a light tender. Little bite to it. Yeah. It's got a little bite to it. <laughs> yeah. So the pork rib. Mm -hmm. Wow, this pork rib is super tender, flavorful, and so meaty. Wow, this must have been cooked a long time. Is this something you would ever eat in in the UK for breakfast? No. To be fair, in Europe, it's just. You don't really have a lot of places offering this kind of food in the mornings anyways. Like in the evening, sure, you can find something. But Look, the prawns are pre-peeled. Oh, okay. The middle part is, uh, the shell is off. This is nice. The prawns taste really fresh. Mm. Very juicy and uh, nice lean meat. Overall, okay, maybe I'll let you do it. <laughs> oh. I'm not prepared for this. I haven't done my hair and makeup. <laughs> <laughs> How do you uh, describe this dish, eating prawn noodles for the first time in Singapore? I could say it's the best pork and prawn noodle I've had for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Okay. Uh, but it was very tasty. I think it's, it beats pastries and avocado on toast any day, hands <laughs> down. <laughs> Prawns were good? The prawns were really good. Pork ribs? I think, oh, okay. I, I thought the ribs were really good as well. Yeah? Yeah. So you come back for the ribs? <laughs> well, you've got to throw in some prawns. You can't come to a prawn noodle place and not get the prawns. <laughs> if you come to Singapore and want to try prawn noodles, definitely come to this place. Yeah. Recommend it. Yeah. Alright, now we're at the second stop. We are at uh, Tin Yang restaurant here at Juchat Road and we are going to try Mr. and Mrs. Morgan Prata. So the Prata is supposed to be very good here and we can't wait to try it out. Let's go. Just look at him going at it. Smash, smash. Take an egg. Toss it in. Flip, flop, flat. Done. Preparing one Prata after another like it's nothing. And another egg prata done. This is a true prata master. Look at this pile of prata heaven. Looking super crispy and freshly made. And the flavorful curry. Now we're gonna try the plain prata. It's hot. Oh. And this is a um, fish curry, actually. I asked her, I'm like, what is this? She's like, curry. 
<laughs> Fish curry. <laughs> I'm like, okay, sorry for asking. <laughs> Okay, so the plain prata is crispy on the outside and flaky and soft on the inside. With the fish curry, it has a good kick of spice in it. It tastes like a great blend of spices and then there's a nice kick in the end with the chili. Next up is the egg prata. But it's uh, pretty oily and on the hands. Eh? It is, yeah. All right. Egg prata, here we go. Mm. I like it with the egg. Mm. It's slightly less crispy. It's really nice. Wow. Roti means bread. Yeah. And prata means flat. flat. South Indian flat bread. That's yeah, nice. I'm very used to breakfast from Europe, like bread or cereals. I still go with that normally. Um, but I feel like on the weekends when I have time, when I don't have to go to work or straight or something, go out, look what I want to eat, and then these kind of things are a good change up now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the tolerance still needs to come up a bit. <laughs> You'll get there. I'll get there, but for now it was perfect. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, but that was really good. Uh, I definitely switch up my normal toast for, <laughs> for prata. It's instead. still flat bread, but uh, um, different taste. Asian it's tastier. Yeah, it is tasty, but it's quite oilier. I would not maybe eat it every day. I, yeah, I think I'd bring some tissues with me for afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah, do you have? You want? Uh, a bit more spray. <laughs> I think we are pretty uh, satisfied with the meal. For five dollars, the both of us had one plain and one egg prata each. Um, good second stop. So now we are on the way to our third stop, which is Tiantian Hainanese Chicken Rice at Maxwell Food Center. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's not. That's going to be our last stop. Now, <laughs> now, now we are heading to Hongol Nasi Lemak. That's our third stop. You're right. Thanks for the correction. Europeans are so... Oh, wait. You're not European. Uh, no more. <laughs> whatever, whatever the British people are. <laughs> so we're now here at Hongol Nasi Lemak, one of the famous local Nasi Lemak chains, I would say. I think they have three branches. And supposedly this is one of the best as well. We asked our Grab driver earlier, our taxi driver, and he says, confirm, not bad. Nasi Lemak is the national dish of Malaysia, consisting of fragrant rice cooked in coconut milk and pandan leaf. As you can see, it is typically served with fried anchovies, peanuts, and the chili paste called sambal. Additionally, we have here a juicy chick wing and some cucumber to pretend it's healthy. Spicy this is spicy ota. Uh, when we take out the toothpicks, right here, you can see the actual ota, which looks like this. Fish cake blended, or blended fish and spices. Blended fish and spices. So yeah, and these are the anchovies, the fried anchovies, which they call in Malay it's called ikan bilis. This is the sambal. The most important thing to nasi lemak is the rice, which is this uh, coconut uh, oil or coconut cream flavored rice. 
and the sambal, the chili sauce. That makes a good nasi lemak at least they say. So I think we can just take in. <laughs> First I'll be trying the rice. It smells really nice. If you go and smell it, you can really taste or smell the coconut milk or for me it tastes like or it smells like coconut milk. The sambal is, has a good kick to it, nice, nice and spicy. Wow, this is nice. The sambal is really nice. Mm. How much was this? 5.80 or 5.20? 5.20. 5.20 for the set. 5.20 for the set and one more dollar, one dollar for the drink. I think this was 180 there. Oh, the ultra was 180, yeah. I think there's nothing, nothing special about the fried chicken, but um, it's good. Though. It's good. Uh, the meat is quite juicy, and I think that um, yeah, if you do something wrong with the chicken, then you cannot sell anything. So it's fried chicken. What do you think of the rice? It did look dry, but like it was hardly running in sauce or anything. But especially with the, I think the egg and the sambal is fine. Would you come back? I think for a quick one, you know, for a quick one, yeah, I think so. It's for five dollars indoor restaurant. It's really tasty. tasty. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Quick stop at the dessert shop across the street to let Aaron try some Dao Wei. Now we just reached Maxwell Food Center, and we are about to check out some nice chicken rice. And this is a very famous one. It's called. Tian Tian Hainanese chicken rice. It's supposed to be one of the best. Of course, it's touristy. I'm a tourist, but um, also locals say it's not too bad. So let's try. Generally, Maxwell Food Center is really popular with lots of food variety. Wow, I can't believe how lucky we are to come here during lunchtime and there's no queue. Amazing lucky day. This is not just plain normal rice. It is filled with loads of aromatic chicken flavor from the stock. Oh, it looks glistening with the soy, with the sauce that they put over. Yeah. Is it sweet? It's sweet. I'm <laughs> 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 surprised. You want uh, to go with the coconut? stop, uh, Tian Tian chicken rice, Hainanese chicken, and the dish is very simple, it simply uh, consists of rice, which is juicy, flavorful because of the chicken oil that they make it with, uh, chicken breast, glazed with a bit of, I think it's some kind of soy sauce mixture, and some uh, cucumbers. Not to forget are the uh, no, it's the chili that we have to add to the dish to make it complete. Juicy rice. Mm. It tastes good. I mean, the, the rice is so fragrant, covered in chicken stock. <laughs> and the chicken itself looks glistening with the sauce on top. Chicken breast, I think. Mm. Ooh. Normally, you would expect chicken breast to be very, very dry, right? But I think this one is not too dry. It's fine. I will try now the mix of chili and ginger. You can't go wrong with chili and ginger. And I think to make chicken rice, which is the national dish of Singapore, complete, you need to mix in ginger, chili with the rice and the chicken. Amazing. Mm. It's a good finishing dish for today. And how did you enjoy the chicken rice? It was good. It 
was a very good way, I am so full, <laughs> but it was a very good way uh, to finish our work. It was five, five different places. In, in, Did we do five or four? Uh, with the beaker oh, as with well. The we threw in a dessert stop in the middle. <laughs> oh, we as did you five. Do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a nice light finish. To, uh, it was pretty light with the big, chicken breast. Big, big morning of meal. I think we are pretty full now. And that's it for today's food tour.